There we go, look at this. We've got the two male cheetah. And there's the one male. And they're heading straight towards us. They're still to the north. They have, unfortunately for them, I was hoping. I can only see the one male at the moment. You can see there the impala. The cheetah need to get a little bit closer before they take a, a chance at the at the impala. You can hear the snorting. Sorry, I just need to be on the radio for a second because I'm the only station from the cheetah plant side who's here. Um, they're probably about 150 meters, but heading south. And they look quite hungry. Who knows, maybe they'll sneak into the trees and try to come around on these impala again. Now, we're gonna lose visuals of them. Oh no, they're gonna pop around. I thought they might sneak off into the trees, but they're not. They're coming, this is so exciting. Now, let's have a look. They're going to walk straight towards these impala. And you can hear all the snorts. They might try something. You can see the other safari vehicles. Look at that impala standing on its back legs to try to see. Uh, you don't see impala do that very often. How cool is that? Impala standing on its back legs to try to see those cheetah as they get, went into long grass. Now we can't see the cheetah, that's why we're on the Impala. They will be coming out into the open shortly. There we go. You see that that kick? That's a very, very distinct movement from Impala when they are looking at predators. Now we'll wait a little bit. The cheetah should come out of the long grass shortly. I'm sorry. Andrew, I'm, I'm here, and I can see Harley approaching as well. So there they come. How cool is this? coming straight towards us. They are exquisite animals. They are hungry as well. So hopefully they find some more impalas once they cross uh, into cheetah plains. That's to the left a little bit. Oh. Oh, he's jumped off already. There's one just climbed up a little branch quickly, but here they come. Oh, there we are. Now there's quite a lot of lot of pressure here, so we'll stay with them as long as we, we can because we're the first people here. But then we will cycle through giving other people also a chance to see them. But for now we we, we are here. What a wonderful morning so far. Lynn is wondering how old are these two boys? Uh, Lynn, it's difficult to say that they are adults and we haven't seen them since our cubs, but I'm guessing just looking at their, their general appearance, they're about six, six, between six and nine years old. Um, but in their prime, these two boys, they're about to cross into cheetah plans. go. Now, as I said, they're, they're quite hungry. You can see that belly is quite concave. There we 
Go ahead, they've crossed into Cheetah Plains. Cheetah Plains living up to its name this morning. Let me just turn around. Whoa, there's a big log in the bush there. We don't want to hit that. Um, so there we go. We're just going to move parallel to them. There they are. Hey, boys. I haven't seen you in so long. As you can see, quite hungry, empty stomachs. I'm just going to find out from Mike if there are any impala around Cheetah Plains Pan. Oh, there's some impala right in front of them. Myla. They haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure the impala have heard the other impala alarm calling. But those impala dead ahead of us haven't seen them yet. So we're just going to go very slowly here. Wouldn't this be exciting if we got to see a live cheetah chase? It's one thing that I have not seen since I've been at Safari Live. I've seen live lion kills, live leopard kills, live wild dog kills, but never a live cheetah kill. Now those impala aren't nearly as alert. So Belty Girl would like to know, do, do cheetah normally hunt together? The males, yes. So they are in lifelong coalitions and unlike lion coalitions, uh, cheetah coalitions are always 100% uh, related. They are brothers from the same litter. So. Oh, I think one might have spotted. I'm just watching their behavior. So I think the Impala have spotted them. They're not being very, very subtle at the moment. The Impala are just over there, but we don't need to look at them just now. Let's just see. Okay. Now I said there's a lot of people trying to get into the sighting because these cheetah can often walk straight through a cheetah plant very quickly. Oh, spotted the impala. They've spotted the impala. See how that the, the front one's body language has changed. Now, the impala are not quite sure yet. They, they're staring in this direction, but it is a, a bit closer. Now, impala are really fleet of foot. So there, the impala there. But you can see they haven't started snorting yet. The cheetah boy is on the move again. Ne there you go, the Impala, and the snorting starts. The Cheetah Boys were a bit slow on that one. Now Josh is wondering about that impala's kick run where they kick out their back legs, uh, back legs and is wondering is that to chase or send off predators. Well, it, it, there's a couple of different theories. It's, it's to display their agility to try to put off a predator from chasing them. Uh, another reason is they've got those metatarsal glands on the back of their legs that is, is secrete a, um, a pheromone or a scent when they do that. Now there's a couple of different, different uh, theories about why that happens. Uh, the, the one is that it's to confuse predators. I don't believe it at all. I think it releases a pheromone to the herd and uh, different individuals can find them, find each other afterwards. So I think that's the more plausible theory, but uh, no one is 100% sure. Oh, and the okay, so we've got to give other people a chance. Um, to get in here so I will stay for as long as I can but I just um, they are moving quite quickly so they could be out of out of cheetah plans very quickly and we have had a really cool sighting so far and um, I'm just gonna get see who's first standing by uh, first station standing by for the shikankan coming Yeah, Andrew, make your way. Um, they're probably about 150 meters from CP Pan. Uh, as soon as you are here, I'll move out. I think Harley is moving out for Andres. 
uh, but I'll just fall into the back of the lineup again. So what I've done is I'm going to give everyone a chance and I've fallen back to the, the back of the lineup so we can hopefully get back to see them before they, they leave. Ginny is wondering whether cheetahs hunt at night. Uh, Ginny very seldom, uh, they will hunt sometimes on the full moons, but a cheetah are generally crepuscular animals, and what that means is they are most active at dusk and dawn. Uh, cheetah is another species that will also hunt throughout the day, uh, and uh, even when it's hot. Now the reason that they hunt at these times is to avoid competition uh, with the other big predators such as lions, hyenas, leopards and wild dogs. Uh, because cheetah are very slightly built and they're built for speed so if they even even the slightest little injury uh, can be life-threatening to them so we're gonna make space for Andrew from Cheetah Plains to come in and see them so while we do that uh, let's go across the alley hopefully we'll be able to get back with them a little bit later